Panda Gang, what's up? We're back with another video. In this video, I have decided that I think I'm going to take all the content back to hardcore. In this game, Tier 1, it's not the best, but I built this community. We built this community off of just playing hardcore and bringing hardcore content. Core is okay in this game. We are dropping nukes, but we decided to hop back into core and we're using Scump's M4 because I watched this man drop three nukes in the worst skill based ever. And I was like, I gotta use the gun. I used it in core, but I wanted to even, I wanted to make it harder and use it in hardcore. So we brought it to tier one. And I actually enjoyed tier one and the feel of just playing hardcore again. Enjoy the content. The class setup is gonna be at the end of the video. I appreciate all the support, guys. Deuces. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not starting off too well. There's three deaths in a row. Footstep audio definitely feels like it's louder. I don't know if they did it on purpose or I'm just more focused on the audio. No map. I'm reloading. This gun is so good. Locating the next hard point. Get ready. What better way to come back to tier one with the M4 though? I'm just conflicted with uh, bringing core content. I'm not enjoying core like I thought I was. Like in the beginning, it was a challenge at first, and now it just, I don't know. I needed a uh, hardcore back in my life. I went and played Cold War of all games. I didn't play all of last year. I went and played hardcore and had a blast. I wanted to try this again. We are playing a five-man party though. There's the advance, this is perfect. Imagine if he would have spawned there. They all have gold gun. You get those long shots. This lobby doesn't seem too bad though. It is a five-man. At least they're moved. Gives me those vanguard vibes. Yeah, I was watching uh, Scump's stream. You don't know who Scump is. Probably living under a rock, but. Neo Pro. He's been playing pubs lately and he, he has the worst skill base. But he still. He dropped three nukes back to back to back. Pretty impressive. So why not try the class? Even though we're playing tier one. What he hit me with? Oh, we can't chow that. We gotta wait. Changing mags. Our UAV is in the area. Let you AV by our teammate. Friendly VTOL on station. I hope this VTOL doesn't kill me. That the VTOL? I really want to drop against this team because it's perfect. Perfect for a video to come back with. Be able to drop on a five man. It definitely seem objective based. Oh. oh my god, he's using fire rounds too. How am I not dead? Oh my god. Thank God they were AFK. That was horrible. I hate that animation with the knife. Confirming next hard point. Stand by. Swapping max. <laughs> All right, this is the perfect, the perfect hard point for this. Let's go. I think that's it. Let's go. That's one thing they need to change. They they got to tell us when we drop streets. I'm not gonna call it in yet because I wanna I wanna use this hard point. Drop some more kill. Oh 
Oh my god, this gun is so good. These dudes are horrible. Look at them, they're all just coming to the objective. This is perfect. What is going on? Of course, he has to understand. <laughs> Go ahead and drop this bad boy. I want to drop it now so they don't leave. Full five man. It could be a six man. I don't know. They're all level 250. Majority of them. Oh. This is what I miss about tier one. But don't get me wrong, I was playing earlier, a couple games earlier, and it was super camp. Let's go. Yeah, we got new Good camping, motherfuckers. Good camping. They got my light here, just shoot. <laughs> Alright, let's hop into the class setup. These were the attachments we were running. First off, we had the X10 grip with the tunings of aim down, sight speed all the way up, sprint to fire time all the way up. Next attachment, we had the demo fade pro stock with aim down, sight speed all the way up, and aim walking speed all the way up. Next attachment, we had the shark fin 90 with the tunings of aim down, sight speed all the way up, and aim walking speed all the way up. Next, we had the dark KX. 30 muzzle with aim down sight speed all the way up and gun kick control I think this is what makes the gun really good is that gun kick control being all the way up And then lastly we have the 20 inch barrel with the tunings of recoil steadiness all the way up and damage range all the way up Give this gun a try it scumps a loadout the pre GA loadout But I seen this man fry and it was disgusting. I had a blast doing it and we're back in tier one Got to drop a like for that, but I appreciate all the support guys deuces